This book is called, You Forgot Your Skirt, Amelia Bloomer. And you're going to find out how Amelia was without a skirt. This book was written by Shanna Corey and illustrated by Chelsea McLaren. This recording is for nonprofit educational use only. This story takes place in the middle of the 1800s when proper ladies were supposed to wear tight-fitting corsets around their waist and ribs and long flowing dresses down to the floor. This thing that looks like a cage was what war ladies wore under their dresses to hold them out and keep the skirts very wide. Let's find out more about how they dressed. In those days, girls wore dresses or skirts, never pants. Girls could not run and play and climb trees like the boys. You could tell a girl's age by the length of her dress. If she was 12 or younger, it was just below her knees. By the time she was 18, her dress reached the floor like her mother's. Also in those days, women were supposed to have very tiny waists, and they used a corset to get them. They wrapped it around their ribs and pulled it tight until it made their waist very tiny. Ladies used hoops to hold their dresses out very wide. In the first picture, you can see what half of it looks like under the dress. They had to step in the hoop, bring it up, and then put lots of petticoats on top of it. Most people made their clothes in those days. They didn't buy them in stores, and they needed a pattern. A pattern were pieces of paper that you pinned to the cloth in order to cut out the right shape and size of pieces so that you could sew them together. Now let's find out what Amelia Bloomer is up to. Amelia Bloomer was not a proper lady. And you can see that she did not like these clothes that were full of ruffles and bows and flowers, and she's pushing them away. Proper ladies wore gloves and hats and carried fans and parasols, which were like little umbrellas. Amanda Bloomer thought proper ladies were silly. She thought it was silly that proper ladies were not allowed to vote. So she tried to change the laws so they could. And she's carrying a sign that says, A Woman's Right to Vote. Good grief, people said. Amanda Bloomer thought it was silly that proper ladies were not supposed to work. So she started her own newspaper. And here she is typing up a story on an old typewriter. She printed the paper herself on a, her own printing press. She named the newspaper the Lily. It was a special newspaper all about women. She hired other women to work on it too. Some women who saw her newspaper said, Work? Why work? That's ridiculous. But the silliest thing of all, thought Amelia Bloomer, was the way proper ladies were supposed to dress. Their dresses were so heavy. Wearing them was like carting around a dozen bricks. What was proper about that? Their dresses were so long that proper ladies looked like walking broomsticks, and they acted like them too because their skirts swept up all the mud and trash from the street. What was proper about that? Underneath their dresses, proper ladies wore corsets that were so tight it was hard to breathe in them, and they were hard to get into. It was so hard to breathe in these corsets that proper ladies were fainting at the drop of a hat. What was proper about that? And the cages and hoops they wore beneath their dresses were so wide that no matter how they squeezed, no matter how they squished and squashed and stuffed themselves through, Proper ladies still got stuck in doorways all over town. What was proper about that? Even little girls had to wear proper dresses, so they couldn't run or jump or play. 
This has got to stop, declared Amelia Bloomer. Then one day, Amelia's friend, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, came to visit. Elizabeth brought her cousin Libby with her. Libby looked remarkable. She was even more improper than Amelia, because Libby was not wearing a dress. That's Libby in the light blue outfit. Libby said, dresses, bah, how silly. Libby was wearing something that was not too heavy and not too long and not too tight and not too wide. It looked just right. Brilliant, said Amelia. Here's what Libby was wearing. It looks like a shorter dress with pants under it, which is what it was. But for those times, it was crazy. Ladies did not ever wear pants. Amelia was so excited that she went right home and made a pattern so she would know how to cut material. And then she used her sewing machine and sewed a matching outfit for herself. In those days, almost everybody made their own clothes. Amelia Bloomer put on her new outfit and looked at herself and she liked it. Then she decided to go out for a walk. The people of the town were shocked. Can you believe it? A little boy yelled, You forgot your skirt, Amanda Bloomer. But Amanda didn't care one little bit. She thought the new clothes were wonderful. She ran and jumped and twirled. She did all the things that she had always wanted to do. Amanda had such a good time that she wanted other women to know about the new clothes, too. So when she got home, she wrote about them in the lily. Marvelous, said a lady from Boston. I declare, said a lady from Charleston. Where can I get one, said a lady from Baltimore. Pretty soon, Amelia had letters from women everywhere. They all wanted patterns so they could make the new clothes themselves. Some of them even wanted tips on what to wear with the new style. Some people called the new style of clothes the American costume, but most people called them bloomers after Amelia Bloomer. Of course, not everyone liked bloomers. Hmm, said one very proper gentleman. Balderdash, said another. This can only lead to more rights for women. Over time, bloomers went out of style. Proper ladies and gentlemen everywhere breathed a sigh of relief. Thank goodness, they said. Now everyone will forget about this nonsense and things can get back to normal. No more women wearing pants. But did people really forget all about Amelia Bloomer and her improper ideas about comfortable clothes? No. In the 1920s, women started wearing pants for bathing suits. Before that, they always had to wear dresses. In the 1960s, they wore bell-bottom pants. And in the 1980s, they wore the power suit. So, was Amelia Bloomer crazy to think that women might want to wear something more comfortable like pants and do something important like boating? What do you think? <laughs>